All right, what's up guys, it's Joe here. And today I'm trying something a little bit new. Um, audio is going through this, um, which is an actual nice mic, but the rest is being filmed on a GoPro. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna film what is inside of this box here. And probably this stuff gives it away and obviously the title is video. But um, so yeah, let's just open this up and we will just get into this. I'm just gonna try to have a nice chill little video of building this right here as I get this open, which is the OLKB uh, plank keyboard. So there's the keyboard. Um, I have some key switches in here, which I'm actually not gonna use. These are probably for a different build. Um, I'm gonna be putting silk blacks in this one. Um, and then also I have these here. Uh, I can uh, hit that, let me get this box out of the way so I don't show my address. Um, and then I have these here, which should be the, I think these are the GMK Hennessy. Uh, whichever one, they're the black on white MT3s. Um, so let's open these up and take a look at them real quick. Open this properly. So yeah, there we go. Just white on black um, MT3 profile, which I normally use DSA, which these are DSA right here. Um, but I figured I'd try MT3s for this. So let's just get into this. Let's just open this up. And um, you can probably see it here. I don't know how well the GoPro shows it. But um, what we are going to be building is a red, ooh, a red plank keyboard. Let's just go ahead and open this. Let's look at that case. Very nice. I think the red on white is going to look very good. Oh yeah, that's going to look great. That's almost like an off-white kind of like cream color. So that might be nice. It might just be the packaging showing that. But yeah, let's uh, get my PCB. I don't need a lot of that stuff because I have a lot of my own stuff going in this. The plate right here. And this is a hot swap board, so this is a fairly simple build. It's nothing like too crazy. Um, I tend to lean towards hot swap boards now um, because honestly, it's just a pain in the ass to have to solder everything when you can just get a board that you can hot swap and swap them out whenever you want. Um, so there's the PCB. Uh, looks like it has underglow, which I won't really care about. Um, I was going to try something with these here, which are the the uh, potentiometers, but I'm probably not going to do anything with that today um, because I just want to get this board built and use it. Um, so that's all we're going to need for this is we're not going to need any of this. We'll probably need those feet eventually, but I'm just going to put those over here for now. Um, and then what we're going to do, I guess it's going to get very messy, is we're just going to start building this. Um, so I do need my stabilizer. I'm going to be using a, I believe it's an Everglide. I don't think it's a Duroc. Um, yeah, this is an Everglide. So I'm going to use an Everglide um, from KP Republic. Um, works pretty good. Basically the same thing as a Duroc. So that's what I'm going to use. And we're just going to lightly lube that. And then we'll just put it together. Um, so yeah, let's figure this out here because I haven't built one of these in a while. I want to see how the case mounts together, which I am probably going to need some of this stuff to do that. hardware kit. Don't like that stabilizer it comes with, so I'm going to use my own. But I will take that USB-C because I always need one of those, even though I have one here. Now this case, I think... Okay, so these mount through and then... Interesting design here, I think. Let's see how this mounts real quick. Because normally cases will just... It looks like these go through. That's very interesting. Okay, so these will go through, and then I guess you'll lock them onto. Yeah, you'll lock them onto there with a little nut. That will actually look kind of nice. Um, so we'll see what happens here. But we won't worry about that right this second. I wonder why it has two. These must be standoffs, actually. You probably put that. Yeah. So I guess you sandwich it. Don't want to lose any of these because it looks like it comes with exactly what you need, and no more, no less. I'm just gonna put these away. this one looks like they're all in there I'm bound to probably lose one of those right now so we'll see what happens but let's uh, let's just get into this so let me move my stab, my stab. Um, and I'm probably not gonna talk too much honestly throughout this um, I'm probably just gonna do it because I just want this to kind of be a chill video um, and before I do that actually let me take a look at these because these are the I forget what these are called but I think they're um, I know they're linears a little bit scratchy
It's actually kind of nice, though. But um, I am going to be using the Silk Blacks. I believe they're Gatoron. Um, they're from Novel Keys. Um, I like Silk Yellows. Those are actually what are not in this, but in another one of my boards. These are um, Little Tykes, basically. I'll pack those with a different colorway. Um, but I feel like the yellows are a little bit too soft, which I could spring swap them, but I figured I'd just get blacks to doing this. Um, and I think these will be nice. I don't normally use heavy switches, and I think these are 70 gram bottom out, so they're pretty heavy for my liking um, or what I normally do. So we'll see what happens there. But um, first, let's just do the stab real quick. Um, I basically just do a light lubing to it. Um, I don't even notice really that much of a difference normally when I do this, but I'm going to do it anyway, because why not? I normally do it. And I find that with stabilizers that... I find it hard to over lube them, especially when there's only one um, on the board, like, because I only use 40% boards. So I find it pretty hard to actually over lube them. Um, I mean, you don't want to glob the stuff on there, but, you know, just a nice little coating and you're pretty much good to go. Put that there. Should again, I mean, this doesn't normally make too big of a difference um, in terms of sound that's going to actually come a lot from this stuff over here which is foam from stupid fish designs I believe because um, I couldn't find anywhere else but it's basically laser cut foam to the shape of the PCB in case um, and that will give me a lot of sound deadening on it um, especially since I'm using linears doesn't really matter so much with clicky but with linears um, a lot of the sound comes from the case there's that. Always gotta fight me. There we go. And then all we do is a little bit of. I normally go heavier actually on the actual wire um, because it's gonna kind of sit in there, and this is actually where a lot of the sound will come from. Um, so I kind of just glob that on there, like so, and then click it into place. There we go. Same on the other side. A little bit too much there. And uh, this is Crytox 205 uh, G0. So that's what I pretty much use on all my boards. Um, I'll sometimes do the Sprite, I'll have it with me, but I sometimes use um, the Crytox oil. I forget which one, but it's a very thin oil on the springs. Um, but honestly, I hate lubing keys because it's just so tedious. So I typically try to opt for like pre-lube switches, um, like the little tykes in here or the Gatorons here. Um, but yeah, there's my stab, 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 all lubed up. Um, where's my screwdriver? There we go. Put this stuff away because we don't need that anymore. Um, and we will be needing this here soon. All right. So we're going to be going with the, I don't know the exact name of the layout, but basically just one center space bar, just like this one. Um, and let's just mount this. Let's see where this goes. Pack this this way. Yeah. Okay, just like that. One thing I've noticed with the Everglide stabilizers is that they often fight me when I try to like get them on. Um, my phone's going crazy, so just kind of have to fight them to get them on this board. And then eventually they kind of go on. 
And what I mean by fight me is that they don't like to actually fully go in until you start to screw them down. Um, I mean, that kind of makes sense, but like, what I mean is that it doesn't click into place and then it finally does, um, like that just did. So, just gonna fight with it a little bit. There we go. I don't know if you could hear that click, but it finally clicked into place. And then that is on. Test it real quick. I'm gonna actually point this GoPro down just a little bit more because I don't know how much you can see here. Like I said, I just wanted to try something a little bit new here with the camera, just kind of a more just laid back video of just, you know, in the moment, just, just working the stuff. There we go. There is the stabilizer. Um, and let's fit the case foam now, just to see how this will work. I'm gonna put that over there. So we have two pieces here. We have one that goes in between the plate and the PCB, and then one that goes in between the case. Um, this is obviously the case foam here. Um, and we can pull this out. I think I'm gonna have to separate every single one of these, which is gonna be a little tedious, but we'll do it real quick. Um, that's probably for one of the chips. I wanna be careful not to actually break this because it does seem very light. Um, I normally use in my boards neoprene rubber is what I use in a lot of them. Um, this one doesn't have it and you can actually, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this very well, but it has a very strong spring ping on it. Um, like from the plate, but I actually don't mind it. I kind of like it on that board. But um, normally I use a rubber on the back, a very thick rubber. Uh, I think it's called butyl rubber too. And it will give it a very dampened sound. I have that in my UT47s and some of my other ortho 48s, BM40s. I basically only do 40%, so I have multiple of the same boards, but it's what I like, it's what I do. Assume, I mean, yeah, so that should deaden it quite a bit. Probably could have done this ahead of time, but I didn't think about that. <laughs> so just doing it now. It's not really that long to do, but and then what this should do is it should just like pretty much pop right on. Uh, that looks clean. And now this should, if I'm right, just lay right on here, which is very nice actually. Well, wow. perfect fit, this slides right on. And that should give me a nice layer of foam in between. Um, and now what I think, I don't know if I, let me see, does this just sit in here? That's the question. Does that just sit there and then this goes on top? Maybe, maybe it goes like that. Because uh, I don't think, I mean, I don't think it goes like that. Maybe if you want a high profile. Um, well, this is a high profile case, so. I'm gonna see what happens here with it, or maybe it has instructions because I don't. I'm not too sure how how it mounts. So honestly, I'm just gonna figure it out. I'm just gonna go with it. Um, where did I put my screws? Right here. What I think probably happens. I mean, based on where that's sitting, I think this is how it goes. Oh, that is loud. Okay. I think I'm just gonna mount it like this. Okay, I think I'm seeing how this works. So this will mount just like that, and then you can basically screw the board in, which is actually very nice. It's gonna be very solid. And then what it looks like is you'll put something like this on it for the actual plate, which will, oh wow, actually, yeah, now I'm seeing how that works. That is very nice. So that will keep it perfectly spaced properly for the actual keys. That makes me happy. Um, that way you won't have to fight with it. So that's cool. So let's just screw this all in.
need to get one of those electric screwdrivers. Make my life so much easier. And you can hear. I mean, that's a little, that's because those aren't clicked in, but very quiet. Or well, it will be because of the foam. Honestly, pretty impressed with the case. Um, sometimes with aluminum cases, you'll get a rough surface or something, and it looks like this one's pretty good with the anodization, anodization on it. So it's looking pretty decent. Um, wish that was like a more perfect cutout, but I mean, it's a hundred bucks. It's actually pretty good deal for what the board is. Um, if it does work, I haven't tested it yet, but you know, um, for what it is, it's about what I pay for these too. This is from KP Republic, that's just a BM40 um, PCB. Don't wanna strip that, I think I just stripped that, whoops. It's fine because I'm probably never gonna take this apart again. I do wish it didn't have this big sticker on it, which I could probably take off, but I mean, I'm just gonna leave it for now. There we go. And now I think we put these on. Let me actually test real quick with putting these on just gently to see if that is correct. Which I think that should be the proper spacing. Yeah, that's proper spacing. So what I need to do is get that off now. There we go. So we'll put the rest of these on and then we'll put the foam on. Um, after we tighten them down too, just to make sure that that's all nice and planted in there properly. Looks like they did include a spare, a single spare, not bad. Okay, uh, where's that tool? None of these actually fit on there. Huh, let's see. Is it this size? It should be this size. Maybe they don't want you cranking them down too much. I don't know. I would assume that would fit, but um, does it fit these? Because that would be pretty annoying if it didn't fit those. Yeah, it does fit those. Okay. All right, let's pop this foam on. And this is the more important foam because this is where the, the keys are actually going to be hitting. So that dual layer foam should deaden it quite a bit. I think this whole piece yeah, just pops out. Um, and then I'll put these on somehow. I might not have to. Maybe I'll cut it, I might do something. But that space bar part is not gonna matter as much as the rest. more on here there we go put that on there and then we can begin to sandwich it just like so these should screw right on I just wish that this would actually hook onto them okay that side does perfect I don't want to over tighten those. Yeah, that's pretty 
dead. That's very nice. Nothing worse than a keyboard that's just pinging super loud because it just sounds hollow. So it makes a, a keyboard sound cheap. When it sounds hollow, it sounds cheap. Even though this board is not expensive at all, honestly. Oh, that is annoying. There we go. My buddy's calling me. I will deal with that later. He probably wants to hang out. He's going to a uh, new job. Random people on the internet don't know about that, so. But yeah. I can't get this one on. Let's see if maybe this will help. Shit. I will say, I don't know how I feel about this case design. Um, if I'm being honest, it's kind of weird with this like screw mechanism. I mean, it's gonna lead to a very solid case. Like this is gonna be very solid, but it's kind of like a little annoying to get these on here. Um, but like, I mean, that is pretty nice. And I don't know how I feel about there not being one in the middle. Um, like a mount in the middle, but I think that should be fine. But other than that, because that's one thing that annoys me on my other boards when I build them is that they don't actually have a predefined spacing for the the plate to PCB, uh, meaning that you're basically like sandwiching it manually, which I think on this one, they should just pop right in. Um, I gotta get that out of there. But they should just pop right in, it should be the proper spacing. Um, and it will make actually changing them a lot easier because it's all sandwiched the proper depth, if that makes any sense, um, what I'm trying to say. You probably, probably get what I'm saying. I guess we'll snug right down. One last one, and then we can start popping in switches, pop on the keycaps, and we will have a board. Okay, so there's that. Um, I'm gonna put the feet on it now, because I can. The one thing that sucks about building boards is that you always get such a fucking mess in your room after it. They're tiny feet. Wow. Very tiny. Put one there. And this will do more for the actual sound editing too, on top of it. Um, I don't like how I just missed that corner. There we go. And so will the desk mat. Like everything, everything you do with a board will do more for the deadening of the sound. Um, okay, get that one spaced properly. There we go. So now it's like bouncy, weird. But now, if you hear that, so it's pretty silent, which is very nice. Um, and then what we can do. Just start popping in the switches. So I'll start on each corner. Nice. I'll try to bend as few pins as possible, but it's almost impossible to like avoid that. So it's gonna happen, but. This board has 48 keys. I think I'm pretty sure this what Ortholinear has um, about 48. Maybe maybe with the space bar it's 47. Um, but yeah, I should have a space bar in here too. I think I didn't think about that with the kit. Um, I think those ones are them right there. Let's take a look. I mean, this is made for an ortho, so it should be size. Do I not have a space? There it is. Okay. I was going to say, because that would, that'd be pretty annoying if I didn't have one in. They are actually white, so that's very nice. 
For a second, I thought they were like a cream color, which I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to, but I want this to be a very clean looking board, which is why I went with the white. I think I just bent the pin on that one. The one other thing I would say about the the plank is that I don't know how I feel about no angle. Um, I used to like a flat board and then I started using slightly angled ones. That one definitely just bent. But um, I see that there are things you can make. Oh, it didn't bend, that's surprising. Um, there are things you can print, 3D print, to give it a slight angle. But um, I'll try the flat for a while. If I don't like it, I'll figure something out with it. But um, yeah. I don't even know if this will be my daily keyboard either. Um, I pretty much switch them every couple days, so we'll see how that goes. But it'll definitely be my daily for the next like week or so. While the hype lasts. Until I get my uh, BM43, another board next week basically a 43 key ortholinear or not ortholinear just a staggered layout but um, pretty similar to these which I'll probably do a video on that too curious what the silks are at actually how many grams um, I can't see with this GoPro on my way I'm pretty sure there's 70 bottom out I know the yellows are like super light the yellows are 63 yeah so the blacks are 72 okay yeah so they're pretty heavy um, in comparison to what I've been using because I think the alpacas are 63 also I think the silk yellows and the alpacas um, and the little tykes which are just alpacas basically um, all have about 62 or so for bottom out force so it's about 10 grams heavier which isn't substantial but I mean on a keyboard it kind of is but um, one complaint I have about the silks is that they're so light that when I'm playing a game like League I'll end up like literally alting and stuff when I don't mean to and it's a pain in the ass so I've kind of not been using that board when I play like games I mean I type on it fine um, you do get a lot of typos on light keys but um, we'll see how the heavy keys are they should be a little bit better but um, I gotta say this this plate design is actually really nice because it's working a lot better with the keys going in but there's that so now what I'm gonna do is put these on use really thick keys like this either so I mean that's kind of nice so the mt3 profile it's like SA but not SA a little bit bigger a little bit taller I guess I don't actually know what the difference is but um, I know it's sculpted that's about it spacebar needs to go on the other way wish I had a keycap puller right now but I don't know where I put it so I'm just gonna hurt my fingers doing that but that worked this is a real deep dish too like wow
should have a shorter escape yeah, right there for this row. Is that the right profile? Yeah, that looks about right. And then these should be down here. Um, that is actually technically my tab key, but let's see. with that one there. It's very hard to do this without a keycap puller. I don't want to damage these, but I'm just going to try to not break it. These keys are definitely really, really sitting on there. Uh, did it come with a keycap puller, maybe? No? Ah, uh, shit. This is very hard. Uh, let me just get the final ones on. That one shouldn't be control either. That's actually a command key. Um, so we'll put one of these on there if this is the proper profile for down there. Yeah, and then this one will be alt or option Then this one's actually control on my key map at least. Oh, there's a command key actually didn't even realize very nice So we'll put that one there Just gotta find a way to get these off without breaking them There we go don't know if I have an escape key for this profile I got right there. Because that's my escape button there. And then backspace. That one is way too tall, so I need this other one. for there is that right that looks right to me I'm liking how that sounds um then these can go here even though those aren't my actual arrow keys but it'll look cool so I'll put them there My arrow keys are actually on JKL semicolon. Um, and then we should have a function key somewhere like there. Okay, nice. Um, and then we can have a delete key. So it is technically my delete there. Do we have a taller one of those though? Let's see. There we go. There it is. Now all we got to do is flash the key map. Which I already prepared. Um, my desk is a mess now, which always happens whenever I build a board. But um, I don't know how I feel about these MT3s, if I'm being honest. Like it's, I don't know, it's different compared to DSA, which is what I normally use. Um, but we're just going to do a quick sound test of this after I flash it. And then we will finish this video. So look at the key map, and then I need to plug this in, which I, I don't know if this has it where I can just press that. Oh, it makes a noise. Okay. Interesting. Um, and then now I can just flash. Attempting to flash. Please don't remove device. Did it flash? Okay. That seems to have flashed. Let's test. We have that working. Let me put this over here for now. Um, it seems that my map is on here. Um, let's just go to this one. Okay, something got stuck. All right, I think my command key is actually not working. Let me 
because it doesn't seem to be what I mean by that is I think that the key is not proper um, bent pin is what I'm trying to say and wow I cannot get that out can I with how this is there we go uh, yep bent pin okay let's put this back in Why is that getting stuck? Interesting. Okay, there we go. That seems to be good now. Um, so now, all I gotta do is I gotta go to Keyboard Tester. Why does it keep getting stuck? Why is my spacebar stuck? Interesting. Let's find out here. Let's try to get this off. Unplug that. some people cringe with what I'm doing right here right now Ugh. I don't know why the space bar keeps getting stuck I'm gonna have to figure that out there we go don't like how tight those are in there Unless the key map I'm using is not right for this. Okay, there's that. And yeah, now spacebar is not working at all. Unless I just bent the hell out of those pins, which I probably did. I don't, it's very hard to get this actually in there to get these out, which is very weird. Oh, my phone's gonna die. Yeah, bent the hell out of that one. All right, let's do this a lot slower this time. Make sure these are straight. Okay, line them up. Okay. Okay, that seems to be good now. Um, I'm going to put this on the proper way too. Right now I'm going to leave it this way. Enter key is not working, so I need to fix that one. So why you go? This is why you test your boards before you do anything with them. All right, let's just see which ones are not working. All right, use dead. Enter is dead. Okay, that one is working. Um, let me see. Do I have that key here? I do. Very nice. Okay, shift is working. All right, pretty much everything is working other than So that's working. This should be control now, good. Okay, so everything's working other than enter and U. So we have to just replace those switches real quick. It should be easy. Pop that off. These, those are really in there. Enter, fixed, and then we have to fix you. There we 
go. And now we should have you. We have enter. All our keys are working. And now it is time for the best part of any keyboard building video. That is when we go to monkey, uh, monkeytype.com. I take the mic, I position it right about here. I give you some snaps, and then we just uh, begin to type. Yeah, these uh, these switches are interesting. Um, or not the switches, the keycaps. It's it's very different compared to what I'm used to. Um, but yeah, let me let me try this again. All right, not bad, 115, 100% accuracy. But um, yeah, I mean, that looks pretty all right. Um, the only thing I could think of doing on this is um, shameless plug. Uh, right here is one of my artisans that I make. Um, there we go, now it's a Minecraft keyboard, which I'm not gonna actually keep that on there. I just wanted to show that in this video. But um, yeah, this was my first video of this type. It looks like we went for 43 minutes building this. Um, not bad, I don't think. Uh, let me fix this so you can actually hear me now. But um, not bad. I mean, for a hundred bucks or so, I mean, the keycaps and stuff are more expensive. But for the actual board itself, it's just about a hundred dollars. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, not really much else to say about it. Um, I think I don't like this black. I'm gonna end up doing a bunch of this, like going back and forth with what I like, what I don't like on it. But I think I would like. Let me see if there is a escape key for this row shit not, hit it. Oh, not knock everything over but um is that the right one yeah i think i like the all white a little bit better but that isn't the proper escape key so we have to find an escape key that would actually work there um, i don't know if i have one for that profile or that that row uh, maybe this one maybe that one because i know this one is kind of right but um I mean, really what I could do there too is I could just put on that little star one. Well, I have that one there actually. Hmm, hmm, hmm. See, this is the problem with keyboards is that you start doing stupid stuff like this where you just wanna mess with them. Yeah, I like the FN, that looks good. So we'll leave that. Uh, I don't like that FN there actually. Uh, hmm, hmm, hold on. <laughs> This is the problem. That one looks about right, actually. It's just a little bit too short, just a tiny bit too short. There, that works, I'm happy with that. That way it looks all like white and normal. Um, well, white on one layer and then black or whatever there. Red. Yeah. White, black, and red keyboard. It looks great. I think this is nice. Um, I don't know how I feel about the sound. The sound's pretty all right. Um, the keys are pretty nice. I definitely like the silk yellows. These are definitely pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do one more sound test for you guys before I pop off this video because it's going long enough. I don't know what that beep is. It's, that's interesting that it beeps, but... Yeah, um, 
Yeah, that's really it, really. Um, I definitely like these keys, actually, now that I'm typing on That's actually not bad. It's it's interesting, but yeah. 46-minute 40, video of me building a keyboard. Just a chill video today, hanging out, building a keyboard. Um, I'll have another one of these probably next week when I do a BM43, which for those of you who don't know, BM43. Um, this is the board I'm building next week. Which let me look up so you can actually see. Um, let me fix this too so you can hear me. Um, basically, it's another 40%. And it's like that. It has a split space bar, um, staggered layout instead of this ortho. But um, with that said, here you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe someone got some help out of this. But yeah, I'll see you next week or two weeks whenever it gets here from China. I did get expedited. But yeah, anyway, see you guys. Peace. How do I stop this? Stop the video.